नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भगवदेशिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन युअर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्णवंदना वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्स्ट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशंस टू यू Our reading from the 18th adhyay of Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita, the Moksha Sanyasa Yoga, and uh, Shri Krishna has started uh, teaching us about uh, the threefold dhriti, the threefold firmness of mind. And to start with, Shri Krishna has introduced us to what is that sattvic type of uh, firmness of mind, the sattvic type of firmness, firmness, the sattvic firmness which. Uh, who controls all the functions of the mind breath and the organs in one unison hmm? dhritya yaya dharayate mana pranendriya kriya the functioning of mana prana and the indriyas the functioning of the mind the breath and the organs these are all uh, controlled dharayate these are all held dhritya yaya dharayate these are all held in such a firmness like yogena avyavicharena these are held in firmness through yoga which is unswerving which is unpolluted which is undiluted which is uh, 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 not influenced by any impurity avyavicharena yogena when the mana prana and indriya the functioning of these three is controlled when this the, the, the functioning is in tandem of these three then uh, and, and not, not not just controlled but controlled avyavicharena they are going without any kind of uh, 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 pollution they are going without any wavering they are not going helter skelter the three functioning of the mind the breath and the organs they are all going uh, simultaneously hand hand in hand for that matter hand in hand all these three functions they are proceeding towards its final goal without deviating from the objective without uh, getting tempted by any of those external temptations they are just on to the right course like like the horses with the blinks hmm? that uh, uh, the 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 uh, 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 covers that are they, they don't look around they are just avyavichare you know they are the function the, the mind and uh, the, the prana and the indriyas they are functioning in absolute cohesion so that shri krishna has told us that dhriti saha partha satviki that dhriti is of the satvik nature a bit difficult to digest when we look at the our firmness of mind our firmness of mind which is at times so fickle which is so wavering but this is what shri krishna has put the objective before us this is what the 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 the, the, the dhriti the firmness of the mind of the spiritual aspirant should be but then shri krishna says okay let us also see what is that rajasic type see for yourself whether you are fitting into the satvik or or rajasic and then determine for yourself where you have to go determine for yourself which 
dhruti which firmness of mind you would like to possess if you are walking on this path of moksha on this path of liberation so let us see what uh, the rajasic type of uh, firmness of mind shri krishna is explaining to us in this 34th shloka यया तो धर्म कामाधारयतेर्जुन प्रसंगेन फलाकांक्षी धृति सा पार्थ राजसी नौ श्री कृष्ण इज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू अस दिस इज द राजसिक टाइप ऑफ फॉर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड एंड वी आर अबिट टू कंफर्टेबल विथ दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट श्री कृष्णा इज गोइंग टू गिव अस लेट अस गो थ्रू द एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट श्री कृष्णा हैज टोल्ड इन दिस थर्टी फोर्थ श्लोका यया तो धर्म कामार्थान धृत्या धारयते अर्जुन ओ अर्जुन बट दैट फॉर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड यया तू तू इज बट बट दैट फॉर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड धर्म कामार्थान धृत्या धारयते दैट फॉर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड विच इज Uh, held hmm? that firmness of mind which one holds fast which one holds fast to complete the dharma artha kama hmm? now these are the three things which are the the uh, 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 constituents of the so called purushartha the scriptures tell us that this our purushartha huh? the, the life ideal life is a four faced purusha artha what is that purusha artha the dharma artha kama moksha now these are the four things towards which each and every being for that matter knowingly or unknowingly is proceeding to to fulfill the requirements of dharma to fulfill the desires of dharma desires of artha desires of kama and desires of moksha but this desire for moksha doesn't fit into the rajasic category at all shri krishna says rajasic uh, uh, the, the 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 things which fit into rajasic category are only dharma artha kama these are the three dharma kama arthan drutya dharayate so the the steadiness of the mind the firmness of mind which one holds to acquire to fulfill the desires of dharma artha and kama प्रसंगेन फलाकांक्षी एंड डिजायर ऑफ द फ्रूट्स ऑफ एक्शन दैट फर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड दैट फर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड धृति ही सा पार्थ राजसी ओ पार्थ दैट फर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी ऑफ राजसिक टाइम द फर्मनेस ऑफ माइंड विच लीड्स अस टू फुलफिल अवर डिजायर फॉर धर्म अर्थ एंड काम and also prasangena phalakankshi when we are working on fulfilling the desires of dharma artha kama hmm, side by side we are also aiming at the fruits of actions that kind of work that kind of firmness of mind with which one works is called as the rajasic action the rajasic firmness of mind but the firmness o arjuna by which one holds fast to dharma kama and artha desires of the fruit of each from attachment it is not that one is working in a detached spirit but with attachment one is working with full attachment to enjoy those desires of the dharma artha and kama and the fruits of actions one is strongly attached to those expectations i must get this i must get this i must get this that is the firmness of mind which is driving one to work towards those fulfillment of the desires of dharma artha and kama and looking towards the fruit of action that firmness of mind shri krishna says finally is the rajasic firmness so Uh, like, like we discussed, the purushartha is comprised of four uh, uh, functions. It is four phases: dharma, artha, kama, and moksha. Now, as far as the rajas type of person, rajas type of person is not at all bothered about moksha. That moksha element is reserved for sattvic. The moksha element is a sole proprietary of the sattva guna. But the dharma, artha, and kama without rajas, there can be no dharma, artha, kama. 
सत्व गुण वोट मिडल इन धर्म अर्थ काम टू धर्म यस टू सम एक्सटेंड बट नॉट टू अर्थ एंड काम फॉर दैट मैटर सो राजसिक रजस इज द वन विच कंट्रोल्स विच विच जम्प्स इन टू दिस फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ द डिजायर ऑफ धर्म अर्थ एंड काम Practical training in this respect is imped, imparted in Brahmacharya ashram or the period of tutelage, where when uh, like we have the four ashramas uh, traditionally, yeah, the Brahmacharya, then the 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 Grihastha ashram, then the Vana Prastha ashram, and then finally the Sanyas ashram. Hmm? Now this uh, uh, the the introduction towards the Dharma Artha Kama Moksha actually it starts with our stage of learning. Where, where we, when we are into that phase of brahmacharya mode of uh, the the stage of four stages of uh, the 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 living at that dharma brahmacharya stage this orientation this introduction to the purusharthas the dharma artha kama moksha starts from these learnings as we come out of that uh, brahmacharya ashram and get into the grihastha ashram hmm, get into a life of a householder or get start Uh, uh, leading the life in this world, we start fulfilling the requirements of dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Uh, if we are so much spiritually advanced, then even during the younger age, we do take up that uh, path towards moksha. But in the normal circumstances, being under the influence of Maya, being under the influence of this delusion. the moksha element we leave it aside and we only start working on dharma artha and kama so and that's why shri krishna here categorically has described this as the function of the rajas type of firmness of mind because the entire attitude the entire inclination is to fulfill the desires of dharma artha kama now this is what exactly is looked by the prayas धर्म अर्थ एंड काम द द द पर्सन हु वॉन्ट्स टू एंजॉय द वर्ल्डली लाइफ इज बेसिकली गेटिंग इन टू द मोड ऑफ प्रेयर्स ऑफ एंजॉइंग द प्लेजर्स ऑफ द क्रिएशन ऑफ दोज प्लेजर्स विच सेंशुअल प्लेजर्स द प्लेजर्स ऑफ लस्ट एंड ग्रीड दैट इज द प्रेयर्स एंड दैट इज वॉट कम्स अंडर द कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ dharma artha kam the shreyas part the shreyas part is left out for the moksha uh, acquiring the moksha so till the time till the time we are influenced under this uh, uh, the, the the rajasic firmness of mind our focus is only on being prayas nobody can stop us then we have to enjoy we have to enjoy the desires of dharma artha Kama. and for that we may go to any extent in order to enjoy the desires of dharma we may land up into doing something which is adharma in order to enjoy the desires of artha and kama we may end up into being uh, adharma a dharmic being unrighteous some somehow to acquire wealth somehow to enjoy the sensual pleasures we start with uh, enjoying the, uh, the the desires of uh, the, the the righteous desires but then somewhere it gets corrupted somewhere it gets polluted and then the kama and artha they start their influence and dharma goes again uh, it sets aside and we don't even mind if we have to go a bit a dharma we go a bit unrighteous and once we start uh, uh, experiencing those pleasures experiencing those sensual pleasures and experiencing the pleasure of acquiring the wealth in the process when our ego shoots up when our ego gets blatantly inflated then we don't see what is right what is wrong then all our attention all our intention is how i can fulfill my desires that becomes the only objective then and then our mind starts playing trick then that firmness of mind at times it is firm but then 
when we see an opportunity, that firmness, we just shut it aside. That firmness, we just put it to corner. And then with that wavered mind, we fall into that temptation of enjoying those pleasures. Attachment to dharma is best of all, no doubt. If man cannot help being attached, if one is truly attached to dharma, one is truly attached to righteousness, nothing can happen. But that can never happen because the artha and kama, hmm, they are having their own influence. Nobody was so much drawn into dharma as Yudhishthira. He was called as Dharma Raja. Hmm? He was the one among all the uh, you know warriors on that uh, uh, battlefield of Kurukshetra who was righteous to the core. Nobody could deviate his righteousness. But even then, when the war started, he had to kind of uh, uh, you know compromise with that righteousness at one point when. He had to answer uh, 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 Dronacharya's question that who is killed, Ashwatthama, is it elephant or my son Ashwatthama? To which uh, even the, the, the Dharmaraj Yudhishthira, he kind of answered in, 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 in a neutral tone. Hmm? Narova Kunjarova Ashwatthama is dead. But I don't know whether is the, 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 the man Ashwatthama your son or the elephant Ashwatthama. So even the, the hardcore righteous people, you know, this uh, creation, this, this Maya kind of, uh, you know, examines their uh, tenacity, examines their uh, uh, the, the hardcore uh, dharmic nature. So that is what, if that can happen to Dharma Raja, what to talk about uh, others? Hmm? So although Dharma is the best kind of uh, 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 attitude one should stick to, it is extremely difficult to stick to that particular quality of being dharmic. And that's when the Artha and Kama, they start influencing, they start polluting your uh, firmness of being uh, attached to dharma and that attachment to dharma gets diluted and we become attached to artha and kama more than the dharma. To the rajasic man practice of dharma is safe and sure investment. He expects that the good he does is returned to him with compound interest. Why he does good to others? Expectation is more good should come to me. Now that expectation of more good should come to me. That is a typical Rajasic attitude. He is firm in that belief. Therefore, with pleasure he goes on doing good here and uh, expecting more good to come to him. His, even doing dharma is from the selfish perspective for the Rajasic person. All the worldly attachments may be brought under two broad holdings of love for money, love for wealth and love for pleasure. The artha and kam. So that is how Sri Krishna has brought in this aspect, this concept of the dharma artha kama while explaining the rajasic type of firmness of mind. The rajasic mind's, man's attachment to kama or pleasure is absolutely vehement. In fact, all beings, we all are in search of joy and pleasure. Hmm? That is our uh, true uh, search actually in this, uh, on this path of living. We always want joy, we always want pleasure. But does it happen that way? The joy and pleasure, the joy comes with the miseries, sorrows hidden behind its uh, fold. The pleasure comes with pain hidden in its fold. So this is what uh, uh, is the, uh, the, the makeup of this Prakriti. Nothing comes singly, the joy or pleasure or the happiness hmm, or the enjoyments for that matter. Everything has its negative association attached to it. Clinging to life on earth is all due to the enjoyment derived from it. Why we, why we are so much uh, attached to uh, the, this life part? Hmm? is because of our desire to enjoy. Even if someone talks about death, we get scared. The moment the thought of death comes, my God, it is all going to end. 
where are my enjoyments i have to enjoy i have to enjoy that kind of desire is pulling us on and we feel it is pulling us on but in fact it is pulling us down and when the moment of death comes then the reality dawns that oh my god i have wasted my entire life in fulfilling my desires in this dharma artha and kama i have never ever thought about the moksha all along i have been in this desire of fulfillment of these uh, experiencing these enjoyments through dharma artha and kama so that is what shri krishna says that kind of uh, firmness of mind with which we are adhering to this enjoyment of life the firmness of mind with which we are stuck to this feeling of enjoying the different experiences of the sensual pleasures and of the wealth acquiring the wealth that firmness of mind is of the rajasic nature the rajasic nature the rajasic firmness of mind is pushing us into this kind of nature of enjoying the dharma artha kama and that is what shri krishna says that the firmness with which rajasik man seeks property and pleasure is to be admired in a way because he is looking for some fulfillment whether that fulfillment comes or not we don't know fulfillment never comes because the moment you uh, uh, fulfill one desire the next moment another another desire crops up there is no dearth to sprouting of these desires it 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 is it it is a constantly is uh, germinating uh, kind of a, a thing one desire after another there is no dearth of desires uh, rising and uh, you know getting cultivated in our uh, minds so this is what the rajasic firmness of mind is one desire after other desire of dharma desire of artha desire of kama so this is what the rajasic mind keeps on hopping from one desire to another and with every desire with everything that we do to fulfill that desire there is a uh, uh, the, the the motive of what i am going to get uh, that phala phala kanksha is always that element of phala kanksha element of desiring even the fruits of action that is motivating us to take up those activities under the influence of the rajasic firmness of mind now shri krishna shri ram krishna has given a beautiful uh, 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 example over here he says that uh, a patient is lying in a room hmm? a patient say of a, a malignant fever maybe typhoid now that patient is not supposed to eat so many things there are so many restrictions don't eat this don't eat pickles don't drink much water now that patient who is there in the room is surrounded with all the niciest of food stuffs plenty of water now what happens to that patient then the patient is delirious in his fever he is not supposed to touch all of them but they are just surrounding him naturally the tendency will be let me try just a little bit i am not going to eat much and while taking that little bit in so many quantities that patient just deteriorates shri ram krishna says that will a sensuous man content himself when he finds in the midst of several objects of senses let left at his disposal this is the same case with the people ordinary people like that typhoid patient who is surrounded by pickles and so many sweet meats and the jugs of water he can't avoid and shri ram krishna says this is what happens with ordinary people who are in this world surrounded by all those sensual temptations how can they uh, 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 control themselves this kind of rajasic uh, mindset this kind of rajasic control of mind this kind of rajasic firmness of mind will never allow the ordinary people from getting tempted by those temptations of the pickles and sweet meats and the water chicks which are all surrounding the typhoid patient hmm? he is sure to deviate from the path of devotion and indulge into sense pleasures 
This is what happens with the rajasic firmness of mind. The moment we see something tempting, that's it. First of all, the rajasic uh, firmness of mind doesn't bother about moksha at all. All that bothers is dharma artha kama. I have to enjoy those desires of dharma artha kama. And when such a thing happens, Sri Ramakrishna says that naturally the person, the typhoid patient is bound to eat those sweet meats and the pickles and all those uh, delicious food for relapse of another bout of fever. That is what happens. So Sri Krishna has told us about now this rajasic firmness of mind. Let us uh, contemplate on this teaching. Do we fit into this category? If that is so, we have to be a bit worried about it. We have to somehow get away from it and get into the sattvic mode of controlling our mind, controlling the mind to that level of firm firmness where all our functions of mind and breathing and the sense organs and the organs of actions, they are in tandem, they are in unison so that the thread can pass through the eye of the needle. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji